Hello there. Thank you for joining me as we reflect on God's love for us in this increasingly fractured world. Now, if you are like me, it's easy to get depressed when you hear of more and more bad news and things happen that really appall us. For instance, we thought we were on the home straight in defeating the spread of the COVID-19 virus and then we hear of new strains that appear to be more infectious and spread more rapidly, putting more and more people at risk of becoming ill and maybe ending up in hospital. We hear of more and more refugees risking their lives to flee war-torn countries seeking to find peace and security. We learn of riots in cities across the world as people protest against things that they disagree with. And these riots sometimes get violent and innocent people and members of the police force get injured. And at times we often feel whether we will ever feel well again as aches and pains increase and we find that we cannot do as much as we used to. It becomes easy to complain about life and perhaps we tend to forget all the good things that God has done for us and will continue to do so if we put our trust and faith in him. You may have noticed that I often reflect on the book of Psalms which contains many moans and accusations as it does praise and thanks. And today I suggest we have a quick look at the first five verses of Psalm 103, where we see David focusing on the good things that God was doing for him, rather than moaning about the negative areas of his life. Let us see what David says and relate it to our own lives. Firstly, I note that God forgives sins. What a comfort! As human beings, we have an inherently sinful nature and as hard as we try, we continue to displease God in some of the things that we do or in some of the things that we leave undone, which we ought to be doing, and then sometimes just the thoughts that we have. Yet, by his death on the cross and his resurrection, we know that if we confess our sins and come to him in true repentance, then God will forgive us. I don't know whether I can think of anything more amazing and awesome than this. Secondly, God can heal our diseases. And by this, I would suggest that this refers not just to physical ailments, but also mental diseases that sometimes eat away at our consciousness through temptation. Now, Jesus himself was tempted and he beat the attempts of the devil to steer him away from the way of salvation. There are many accounts in the Bible when Jesus and his disciples healed people on their travels, but again, this was through faith. How much more so should we have faith in our loving Father that he will care for us no matter what happens? Thirdly, God pours out on us never-ending amounts of love and compassion when we really do not deserve such boundless gifts. Sinful though we may be, and the continuing mistakes that we make, God still loves us and cares for us. He loves it when we come to him and talk with him. Fourthly, God satisfies our desires. Now, there's a difference here. God will meet all our needs, but not necessarily all our wants. God knows what we need to get us through the paths on which he leads us. Our ideas may not always be God's ideas, but he will give us what we need as and when we need it to do his work. We may have to wait a while, or we may have to change our tune, but we can be sure yet again that God is always there, leading us along each step of the way and keeping us safe. And finally, for this reflection anyway, God gives righteousness and justice. His way is the way, and as we learn to follow him, he will ensure that he will treat us in a right and fair manner. So no matter how difficult our journey is, we can always count on his blessings, past, present and future. So when we perhaps feel we've got nothing to praise God for, just read these first five verses of this psalm and revel in the fact 
that David has listed so many blessings for us. Let's hear what he has to say in the psalm. Praise the Lord, my soul, all my innermost being, praise his holy name. Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion, who satisfies your desires with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Now you may have noticed that the words of this psalm is echoed in one of my favourite songs which we often sing in church and promises even further that no matter what stage of our life we are at, these blessings will always be there. So let us not forget to constantly thank God for all these blessings. I think I might ask for this hymn to be sung at my funeral, whenever that might be. So see if you recall this song. Bless the Lord, O my soul, worship his holy name, Sing like never before, O oh my soul, I'll worship your holy name. Sing like never before. We're not able to sing out loud in church at the moment, but we can sing in our hearts with great gusto and feeling in our worship to our amazing Father God. The sun comes up, it's a new day dawning. It's time to sing your song again. Whatever may pass and whatever lies before me, let me be singing when the evening comes. So we can start singing in the morning and all through the day. And as we count our blessings, will we still be singing as the night draws in? Longer days at the moment gives us even more opportunities to praise him. Let's take these opportunities. You're rich in love and you're slow to anger. Your name is great and your heart is kind. For all your goodness, I will keep on singing 10,000 reasons for my heart to find. In spite of our sinfulness, God's love means that he will always forgive us and keep us close to him. We can constantly go forward praising him for his goodness and for thousands and thousands of other reasons. And on that day when my strength is failing, the end draws nigh and my time has come. Still, my soul will sing your praise, unending, 10,000 years, and then forevermore. When we are ill, or we cannot do what we used to, and as we even approach death of our earthly bodies, will we still be singing God's praises, thanking him for all that we have enjoyed in our lives, and thanking him for being there all through our difficult times? Bless the Lord, O my soul. Worship his holy name. Sing like never before, O my soul. I'll worship his holy name. Amen.